Hello everyone, a couple weeks ago, a company which I'm not going to name decided to introduce competitive mode and I think those idiots don't know what that actually means. In sports or esports, players are usually competing under a certain set of rules or in the same conditions so they can see who is better. In Onslaught, you're supposed to compete in random environment with random outcome to find out who is better. Let's take a closer look what we have to deal with in Onslaught. Around the year 2017, in the most idiotic updates they have ever pushed to this game, they have actually took out the most essential elements for competitive gaming. For World of Tanks it was weak spot knowledge and gun accuracy. They have replaced it with a dirty business model which is supposed to milk money out of you through the frustration. At that time this was also a big hit for entire esports division which died shortly after, if you ever wondered why. They have justified accuracy changes as armor emphasizing mechanics and shortly after introduced armor penetration indicator, which looks good as a feature, but it is equally devastating for competitive game. Back then you have to know weak spots, which was part of the skill and you needed to use that skill to be successful. Now you just need to point on the armor and see your chances. How did you know back then if you are going to penetrate angled tank with accurate gun? Experience which was also part of the skill which you needed to possess. Now, hopefully you understand that armor worked well either, and those changes was not necessary. Despite that, this is what we have now. <laughs> Take a look on this example where I am waiting for a better angle to penetrate weak spot. This is happening not only in all slot, but I will stick with it for now. Look how armor penetration indicator suddenly changed color to red for no reason and armor was not penetrated. This shot actually missed the target. In this example armor penetration indicator is completely green and angle is ok. It is not going to be penetration. In the next shot penetration indicator stays red but shot is going through. This game is broken in so many levels, even pirates which are not playing World of Tanks should be able to see that, especially this retarded RNG concept. In 2022 shells are flying literally 2 cm away from aiming circle and armor physics is ignored, but they are calling it competitive gaming and they are laughing in your face. Like mechanics which I previously mentioned is not enough, they have somehow managed to increase level of randomness by tank selection. Both teams have access to all their tanks and players can pick whatever they want, which is not that bad idea but can screw up your games. Camping mediums in city maps or artillery in 7v7 is not that uncommon here, and if you are not picking meta tanks you are more likely going to lose. Take a look how well it is going to end up for those two E100s. They have last two and a half minutes. Good job! Because of combination of previous two points in their so-called skill-based matchmaking, now we can experience people on levels which they aren't supposed to be. Luckier or RNG-blessed players advancing forward, better but unlucky players struggle. So you can expect shit show all the time. If people previously complained about rank battles, they are now looking like pretty awesome mod compared to this. And of course I have an example for you. STB is going alone. STB is dead in one minute. No problem yet, we have learned they have two EBRs and budget. Now we have learned they have also artillery. Because of bad tank selection in enemy team, next logical step for players on this level would be push their heavy tanks with overwhelming HP advantage, right? Wrong. Half of the team is going to push in.
our second medium is last in 2 minutes and our other two super heavies leaving sniper positions to actually going for the cap instead of helping with killing heavies. You can watch this happening with your jaw dropped like when gold digger spots the Lamborghini. What do you think the result of this game was even though enemy have picked wrong tanks for the match? Because of combination of previous 3 points, toxicity in this mode reaching extreme levels. It is important to realize that people are not always failing because it is their fault. On second side, frustrated people need to vent somewhere and sending messages like you see to each other. This is also why I always considered RNG as the biggest problem in this game, but a lot of people just can't see that. It is also underestimated problem which is affecting their minds. That said, some community contributors have stopped presenting it as a bad thing and some are even promoting it. Also, we can call that as planting thoughts in people's minds, so they cannot recognize how big it is. And of course we can only guess if they are behind it. If you manage to get one of those, good for you, congratulations. If you're still struggling to get one of those, my best recommendation would be get the rewards and stop trying. Save your sanity and your resources which you are using for best configuration on the tanks. Something which we can compare to winning a lottery ticket is not going to command respect. Don't get me wrong, I am not disrespecting players which have that. I am saying this is not really a measure. People need to stop being so forgiving when it comes to RNG. And best weapon which they can use is for example not buying Christmas boxes. This company which I am not going to name knows very good what purpose of this retarded RNG concept is. But they will rather chat ban you than solve this particular problem. The only way of forcing that is to hit them where it hurts. Those assholes which dare to call this random circus abomination, competitive game mode, are probably not aware that business models which are fair towards their customers exist and they are actually doing pretty good. People love them for that and still willingly spending money on it because they just wanna support their favorite game. Ok guys, that's it for now. If you like this video, share it, so message will reach destination. And enjoy the last few seconds of the shit show, which was, by the way, recorded in one short gaming session.